Hi Comic Clan fam! We had a couple viewers ask us how the homemade stuff is going, but we had one longtime viewer, Joy, thanks for the questions Joy, ask us about um, what the kids are missing and uh, what they're really enjoying, and so today we're going to answer those questions. kids here with me. I thought we would do four and then four. Uh, that way we can, uh, you know, not talk over each other and <laughs> we can get a, a real view of what the kids are thinking. I thought we would first start by talking uh, with the kids about what they've helped make. So everybody has pretty much helped with at least one thing except for Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. Um, she has not helped me make anything yet, uh, but I've been trying to fit everybody in and she just hasn't gotten a turn yet. So we still need to give you a turn, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Elena, what have you helped make? Um, I believe I helped you make spaghetti one night and vanilla wafers. Vanilla wafers. Um, okay, what have you helped with? I've helped with Pop-Tarts. You helped Emma. Yeah. You, the two of you. Did, yeah, yeah, we okay. have Pop-Tarts. I've done the churro oyster crackers. Yep. I know I've done dinners, I just forgot what dinners. Probably, have you done any chicken ones or, or the hamburger, or, do you remember? Oh, I did, I, I did breakfast, I did yogurt too. Oh, that's right, you helped make the yogurt. Mm -hmm. Actually, you made the yogurt. Yeah, I made the yogurt. Yep, with the Instant um, Pot. And then, did I help? No, I didn't help with it. I don't know. I, I do know I didn't Multiple do it. Multiple things. Yeah. Isabella, what about you? Um, funnel cakes, I'm pretty sure. Funnel cakes, yep, we did funnel cakes as a snack. They were called funnel cake bites. And so for the older kids, um, I, I usually let them do it themselves, read the recipe and do it, but I will sit right next to them um, so that way they can ask questions and I can still kind of watch and see what they're doing. Uh, but that way they learn how to read the recipes and follow the directions. And a lot of times we're having to um, like triple recipes. So teaching them how to uh, convert all the, the all that math. And so the littler kids though, I'm doing it with them. And so they like to help mom do things. And eventually they'll be able to do it themselves, but um, obviously they have to start somewhere. And so they're just helping me. Now, is there, well, first let's start. What do you guys think of the changes that we've made? Like, start with you, Elena. What do you, what do you think about doing everything homemade and not buying all the processed stuff from the store now? I really like it. It's because like we it during this time we like communicate but when we like when I, mom would make the meals the kids would out go playing but now we can like actually like communicate better like get to know each other better so we're spending more time together mm -hmm. so you like that about it yes, and the meals are way more good and cheaper that's true charlie do you like all the <laughs> we're in, our, in your own world <laughs> do you like doing all the homemade stuff? Yeah. Do you like how it tastes? Yeah. Do you think it's delicious? Yeah. Or do you wish we'd buy the other stuff again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of yas there. <laughs> Rosie, what do you think? Um, I think that they do, they taste very different than what we would buy. Like with the yogurt, it tastes nothing like the store-bought yogurt. And I, everything is more nutritious. Mm -hmm. Like, and we actually know what we're putting into the ingredient. So it's like easier for us to like, well, appreciate it too. That's because, true. Because we would, because some of us would always like complain, like, I don't like this, I don't like this. But then when we make it and someone doesn't like it, we're like, excuse me? <laughs> Did, you don't like what I made? You don't like my cooking? You think it's disgusting? And so it makes us like appreciate what the food that we make. A yes. lot more. That is so true. That's a very good point. Um, Isabella, what about you? 
I got a mad at when they call me oh. stuff. Really? You like buying the stuff from the store? Yeah. The processed food? Yeah. Really? Tish would rather. She would watch. rather not. Ho <laughs> she would rather watch uh, her TV shows. Well, and I could see um, the little kids having a harder time with it um, because they're so used to. They're used to the things that we bought before and not used to homemaking things. Um, and so I, I could see that. Is there something that you really miss? Like what, what's something that you miss that we used to buy we don't buy anymore? It's Pop-Tarts. So you like the Pop-Tarts in the box better? Mm. Or do you like Emma's homemade ones better? Emma's homemade. Okay, so you don't miss like that. Pop-Tarts in the box aren't really Pop-Tarts. Like, Pop-Tarts are supposed to be pastries, mm -hmm. dishes and that like. stuff. It's just so flat and, like, there's not really much of... The only thing that, like, gives it flavor is probably the uh, f filling yeah. and the top. Otherwise, yeah. it's just When not. we have breakfast burritos, I like, why to have cereal? Oh, <laughs> yeah, we don't buy. Cereal. So you want? Yeah, we're not buying cereal anymore, and so you would rather have cereal. Yeah. Yeah. Then. So you miss cereal. Yeah. Okay. I love cereal. You love cereal but too. When we make um, pancakes. Yeah. I'm happy about that. I don't want Honestly, cereal. I, oh, okay, so you like the pancakes? Yeah, I, like, I do like the pancake too. You like pancakes too? And cereal. And the cereal. And um, boxes pop out. <laughs> and the oh, the pop tart boxes. <laughs> What about you, Rosie? I really like us not buying cereal because every single day we either have like oatmeal or pop tart or breakfast burrito or like, all these different things, and I just don't really like having like the same cereal every single day. It starts to lo lose its flavor. Yeah, I like to have multiple sense. like choices, mm -hmm. and like all of them are pretty good too. That's a good point. Okay, Elena, how about you? What do you miss? Anything? Um, my time. Your time? Okay, so <laughs> that's, time. that's a good point because I've talked about this in several videos that when you don't buy processed food and you home make everything, it takes way, way more time. Yeah, really and does. so you do lose that time because you have to home make things. So that's a very good point. Um, anything that you missed that we were buying before? Nothing, absolutely nothing. The pop charts were okay to me. The cereal, I, I got bored of it, and so I started to have toast every single day. And again, what I was eating was like a lot of sugar, so. Mm -hmm. And we still, I find it very interesting how many meals for breakfast have sugar in them. You've got waffles and pancakes and pop tarts and. Um, even oatmeal we put. Even oatmeal, that's right. Good point. Uh, cereal, uh, cinnamon and sugar in it. So breakfast uh, has a lot of sugar, and you don't have to have it that way. But yeah, it just seems fruit. to be the way everybody likes those things. You know, you you just normally put uh, syrup on pancakes, and yeah. you just normally put a little sugar in your oatmeal. And Okay, what I miss, yeah. because I didn't really say anything, what I miss is... Um, let me think about it. I, I do kind of miss like the time too because like in the morning, mom makes the pancakes and that stuff. And it's like, like we, we're, we're learning and she's still making like the little kids pancakes. And so it, it's just like we're getting so hungry. Yeah, yeah, because it takes so much time. Mm -hmm. um, so then, yeah, kids are waiting. The other thing that I miss, kind of, is for lunch, I'm so used to having choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, we had choices, like we could eat ramen noodles or we could make our own things, and then school we could also have choices. But now, like, you pick one thing and we have to eat it. <laughs> yeah, and if you uh, don't eat it, you, you're not eating yeah, that not meal. Eating that meal. Yep, so, um, so that used to be the way we did dinner, and that's still the way we do dinner, yeah. is we have one thing for dinner, and then if you don't eat, like if you don't want it, then you just choose not to eat that night. Or sometimes, like you guys will grab a fruit. Like I'll yeah. let them have like an apple or an orange or a carrot or something like she's that. She's not cool. Right. <laughs> right. She's nice. I still want you to eat. Um, I just I can't make you know three different dinners because people don't want things. Yeah, I feel like we're also so we we used to never like ever want to taste new things. Yeah. We would always be like, you're making soup. 
What? You're making different type of chili? No, thank you. And now, like, we're so excited to taste it. Yeah, we're like, <gasps> yes. soup? I want to try. And I also think that the older you get, um, the more you like trying new things. Yeah. And uh, the more health conscious you guys are. You understand... Um, like making the homemade things you guys understand that we like doing that because we know what goes in the food now and we're able to like like maybe if you don't want meat because you want to be a vegetarian then the you know last time I am a vegetarian you can she choose. ate bacon today <laughs> she one. so you know and you guys start to understand those things the older you get and then you also do try try more things um, but one thing that I want to make sure that I tell everybody is how time consuming it really is when you have such a large family um, and you're homemaking everything. So we home make every breakfast, every lunch, every dinner, and every snack. Um, then you're you're going from breakfast homemaking it to getting ready to you know going right into lunch to homemaking it to going right into snack, going right into dinner, and you it's almost like you can't do anything else the yeah. whole day because yes. all you're doing is preparing food yesterday they made um the uh snack a little like late they yeah had, they they got uh like lot, yeah no i like, like yeah, we started it at like three um yeah. and it wasn't ready until we, 4 30. yeah and then as as and mom sat sat down and then she looked at the time after everyone was done she was like well now i have to make dinner yeah <laughs> that was ready yep time she's for dinner like, she's like i'm gonna edit Wait, it's four thirty? No, she 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 was like, it's it's already five. What? What's going on? She so, make it. On the lunch topic that you said, um, mm -hmm. so we used to let the kids pick what they wanted, so they could pick a frozen pizza or ramen or um, corn dogs or and and now you're right. Now I make one homemade thing for lunch and they no longer have a choice. So now they, they have to eat whatever we're homemaking that but day. But also that makes us appreciate it, like actually eat because um, stuff, because like whenever, it, well, it makes you like appreciate it again too. Cause like some people don't get choices. Like no, a lot of people don't get choices for lunch or anything. Yeah, some and, people don't and even they, have lunches. And they just eat it. They just, they have to eat what their parents make. Yep. And so it just makes me appreciate the food even more. Okay. So, um, baking for me, I would always like beg mom. I'd be like, "Can I use the Easy Bake Oven? Can I do this? Oh, can, yeah. I, can I? Can I? <laughs> can I make this dinner and then ask her the next day? Can I make breakfast? Can I make lunch? And now I get to make it, so it's like a dream come true for me." Yeah. So you get to actually cook. Yeah. And you, and you guys. So I am a very A type personality, and I like to have control over everything that's going on in my house so do I. and yeah and she rosie is very much like adult me yeah and yeah, you said that yesterday <laughs> when we were having did you like well rosie is basically the mini me just yes. in yeah. a child like i, I can not... i can read mom's mind when it like you yes. know, well, 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 she'll make the same face and and i can tell her ears are hurting i'm like guys be quiet like, you guys ears are hurting um rosie is very good rosie is very good at reading faces um, and emotion and okay, but um, Rosie, I was not like Rosie when I was a little kid, <laughs> but um, Rosie is like me now as an adult. And so, um, yes. Okay, so we have four more kids we need to talk to. Yes. So um, I'm gonna go grab the other four kids and we'll see what they think. I apparently miscounted and uh, I forgot that I now have 11 children in the house. And uh, so there are five kids here instead of four. <laughs> So my fault, but we are talking today about homemaking things. And um, what do you guys think about doing all this homemade stuff? It has its ups and downs. Ups and downs. I okay. Like you like cooking? I love baking. More. I don't like a bunch. I only like bacon snack. Oh, snack. Okay, Gavin, you've helped with one thing, right? Yeah, doing tacos. Oh, that's right. You helped me make tacos. And I want to do more things, but okay. you won't let me. Gavin can help me next time. Make, okay. Oh, I want to make I my cakes. Yeah. Okay, let's start with Emma. Emma, what do you think of all of the homemade stuff? Um, it's okay. It's I okay? Mean, I wouldn't say it's the best thing. Like, some of the stuff is better than uh, most of the things we would have, but... 
and I like cooking, but... Okay. Jade, what about you? Uh, I love baking and cooking, but I like baking better, and I love making things homemade. John, you said yes and no? Oh, uh, yeah, because if my mom's trying out new things, and it's sometimes it doesn't taste the best. <laughs> and we have to eat it to get treats. <laughs> yeah, so they have to eat their dinner to be able to get treats. Um, but <laughs> that's true. When you're making new recipes, you're not always sure how they're going to taste. So when you're making something new, um, you just kind of don't know, right? You're gambling on it, whether it tastes good or not. Mm. Gavin, what do you think? <sighs> Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's okay? But I want to make my cake on my birthday. You want to make your birthday cake? What's mom? With I want to homemake my birthday. I said, um, cake. I, Not I said, out of a box? No. Okay. I, I remember I told you I yeah. wanted, you, we could test mine. Yeah? Yeah. Yep, we can do that. The last group of kids that we had, we talked about all the things that we have been homemaking. So, Emma, what are some of the things that you have made? I've mostly made okay. everything when it comes to the stuff. Um, you've made all the Pop-Tarts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, you've helped make dinner a couple times. The one thing that I like the most is the homemade mac and cheese. Homemade mac and cheese? Like you like the taste of it or are you like making that the most? Both. Both? Lily, what about you? What did you help with? You helped um, with some crackers, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the oyster crackers, is that what it was? And what is your favorite thing that we've homemade? Um, it was the... Uh, Vanilla wafers. Vanilla wafers. That, I feel like a lot of the kids really love the vanilla wafers. They what were so good. <laughs> they taste so different from the store-bought ones, uh, and they are so good. They are. What about what have you helped with, Jade? Uh, the what are they called? Those pretzel things that are about that long. This is pretzel sticks, the ranch pretzel sticks. Yep, so they're like a spicy ranch pretzel stick. Okay, they're kind of like the Dots pretzels, if you guys have ever had Dots pretzels. But they were not spicy. No, I left the, there's um, sriracha you're supposed uh -huh. to put in it, and we did not put sriracha in it. Because that would make it too spicy for I Izzy. thought that I was thinking is it would be a little too spicy. For, especially for Izzy. And we could always try those um, yeah. and see, but I didn't think all the kids would like them. Yeah. You've helped, what have you helped with? I helped make tacos with Gavin. I made those yummy white vanilla chocolate. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Rice, rice Krispie Krispies. Treats. Yes. <laughs> so, yep, you made Rice Krispie Treats, and I was supposed to have like chocolate, uh, like a chocolate frosting on the top, kind of like melted chocolate chips. But we had white chocolate chips, and so we used that instead. That was really good. It was. Um, Gavin, what have you, you helped with the tacos, you said. And so you and John made tacos together. And then I think I made one more thing. I think you helped with a snack. Was it the crackers or? Dennis I thought you helped with one other thing too. The pancakes? Pancakes? I can't Cray remember. Yes, I did. You helped with pancakes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so all of you guys have at least got to help with one thing. And um, so let, let's ask this. What do you guys think about um, is there any downfalls to homemaking things? Like any, anything that you don't like about it? My hands, my shoulders, my back. That's really with the pop tarts. Those are so labor intensive, the pop tarts, I feel like, <laughs> um, because you have to make the dough and then roll out the dough. And because we have such a large family, we have to make so many of them. So last time Rosie helped you mm -hmm. and, and me. Oh, that's right. And you helped her too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So we had all three of you guys helping. Um, anything else that you guys think is a downfall to homemaking things? It's not as good as all the cereal. It's not as good as the cereal. I, <laughs> the sugar cereal. Oh, I hate so cereal. Good. I love the cereal. Most of the kids love cereal. Not and we me. do not buy that anymore. Um, but there's some down in the pantry. We have some in our, our emergency pantry. Yeah, yeah just in case. In case. We run out can, of I tell, yeah. can I tell them why I hate cereal? Why do you hate cereal? Because it gets so soggy so fast. It does. It does. And it, some and of the brands gross. faster than others. But mm -hmm. um, Okay, any upsides to homemaking things? Yes, Gavin. I like when the cereal is actually soggy. <laughs> you like soggy cereal? <laughs> um, any home... Can I use a spoon? Oh, gosh, Jade. <laughs> Anything uh, that's positive about homemaking things? Yeah, go ahead. You just say it. Um. Oh, 
I loved rolling out the dough because it was like really fun. You liked doing that? You thought it was fun? Mm -hmm. Rolling dough was fun to me. <laughs> How about you? Any positives you can think of? Hmm. I need a spoon. There's a lot of better stuff like we get to be out new snacks. Yeah. Try out. We get to try out a lot of new things. You're right. We have it has a lot of sugar in it. And we were just actually with the last group of kids, we were just talking about um, at breakfast time. There's still a lot of sugar that goes into breakfast. Mm -hmm. Sugar on oatmeal, sugar on pancakes, you know, things like that. Um, Any thing for you? Any upsides to homemaking things? It gets me something to do. Gives you something to do, yeah. I feel like um, you enjoy taking control of things. Mm -hmm. So when you're able to cook, um, it's kind of like you have control of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like that's good for you. Yeah, yeah. especially with me and my need to control things. Uh -huh. I feel like um, there are several kids that we have, not just one, but there are several that we have that likes to have control of everything around them. <laughs> and, uh, and so by letting them have the kitchen and take over and cook, it gives them some of that sense of control that they're looking for. Like me. Yeah, you're one of them. Yeah, and you, yeah. But I think that's good because you guys are old enough really that you, you can do that. You can read a recipe and you can, um, you know, you can, you'll ask questions if I'm sitting right here usually and then you'll ask me questions and I can help if you need to and if you don't need the help then I, you know, I'm just there just as moral support. <laughs> I remember when I messed up the salt, like, I, because I thought that it said like, what was it, like 17 uh, not, teaspoons, yeah, yeah. tablespoons of salt when it was like a different It was, it was teaspoons. Mm -hmm. So tablespoons and teaspoons are easily mixed up. For me especially. So yeah, we've been learning um, to make sure that you double check yourself mm -hmm. and uh, that you really read the recipe before you do something, that way you don't make a mistake. Sure. It's easier to double check yourself than it is to go back and try to take something out that wasn't supposed to be in there. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, what about you? Do you think there's any um, good or bad yeah. to homemaking? Um, the bad. I hate the mac. I don't like homemade mac and cheese. You don't like homemade mac and cheese? That's funny because that's like everybody's favorite, I feel like, except so for you. Good. Dab me with a spoon. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dab, dab me with a spoon. <laughs> okay, they're saying that because that was a saying that I used to say <laughs> when I was in school and they like to tease me about it. Because <laughs> they found out that I, I used to say that and they think it's hilarious to tease me now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that is it. But next, uh, we did get a package, and um, everybody's excited. We're going to open it and see what's in it. I think we've managed to get everybody. Rosie is actually off to the side um, standing. <laughs> but, okay, this package we got, and I knew it was coming, but it is from Pamela Petrovich, and she is a fellow Texan. And, uh, Pamela, just so you know, uh, the area that you live in is actually somewhere we considered moving before we found our the house that we did. So we love your area, um, but we're gonna see what is in here. The kids are so excited. Um, I knew I know one thing that was in here. Sandwich bags? It is these right Socks. here. And they are paperless towels. So they are reusable paper towels. I, so, oh, I've seen those all over TikTok. So it is so you don't have to um, waste money and trees and you, like, wrap buying them paper towels. So. Thank you very much. Those will come in very handy. We've been trying to get rid of all of our paper products and we were able to get rid of paper plates and paper bowls and uh, plastic silverware. So we do, don't use that stuff anymore. Um, and then these are something that I, I did not know you were sending, but these are awesome. And I really wanted these. Where are um, they? <laughs> Jade's face. <gasps> the kids see the other stuff in there and they're Wait, excited. Are those jelly things? What did you guys get? What is this? Wait, we have even more. More paper uh, towels? Hey, okay, a, a, blast a blast That's from the past. Have. I used to have this when I was a kid all the time. Yay. So what do we tell Pamela? Thank you. Bye, bye. Wait, yeah, let's go ahead and tell everybody bye for now. <laughs>